red belt. You guys are going to be working on an overhand nine pin. So an overhand nine pin, similar to a nine pin because you're hitting on that pinky side, not the top of your pinky, but on that side, except it's coming over your head and coming in a downward motion. So you're gonna be here, overhead nine pin. Now look, my feet, my legs are together and my feet are in an L shape here. Okay, so as I'm coming overhead, I am sinking into that stance. Okay, so 15 times each side, you got it guys. Reverse punch, step, reverse punch. Still in that back stance. Make sure it's a good deep back stance, guys. 15 times each side, go. your ribs it's actually going to come over the top so even with that shoulder you're going to be here backward elbow and as you guys probably remember from board breaking the other day you're not hitting it here and you're not hitting your shoulder you're actually hitting this part of your arm so you're going to be here backward horizontal elbow you got it guys 15 times each side <laughs> So it's a great one to use in sparring, okay? That checking kick is coming out and kind of stopping their kick before it hits you. So, Miss Shay is going to come on screen. She's going to help me show you, demonstrate how this works. We're going to be here. She's going to kick. I'm going to block. And then I'm going to block with my other foot, okay? Now, if she switches feet, I can still use either foot, all right? So, with that check, make sure you do 15 times each side. And don't just put your foot out there. Make sure you are actually working through blocking someone else's kick. Awesome job, guys. Keep it up. 15 times. <laughs>
How we're gonna do this is how I teach everybody how to break down this 360 is we're gonna jump wall to wall. So we're staying still. What I need you to do is I need you to jump a 90 degree, degree angle to this side. So you're just gonna jump up and jump back around. All right, now you're gonna jump from this direction all the way behind you. So we're gonna be here and you're gonna jump to the back and then back around. Okay, now I need to go to this direction but I have to go this way to get there. So I'm gonna be here, we're gonna jump up, land, jump back, all the way back around. Now we're gonna complete the circle. I need to land facing you and you need to land facing me this next time. So jumping up, landing straight forward. All right, if you feel yourself falling sideways and dancing around guys, it's because you're leading too much with your head. Use your hips. That should be what's spinning you. Your feet and your hips going around. Now to get this 360 correct, you're gonna put your one leg in front, one leg behind. All right, normally in the pattern that you're gonna do, it comes from a square block and you land in a double knife hand. When we're here, we're going over this back shoulder and when we land, both hands will circle down in the midst. So we're here, we jump up and we land. Knees higher, the better and the faster you'll spin. So you wanna get your knees up to your ears. Even if we try the other side, which way do I go? Over my back shoulder, spinning in that opposite direction. I'm gonna jump up and land. All right guys, so practice this 360. I'm not gonna make you do it 15 times. Just do it till you're dizzy, okay? And you're gonna do great guys. Way to work. Strike it out. 
So coming in, strike and inverted bridge hand, knife and high block. Work on this 15 times each side, you got it.